coming to that. We came out with the results on Friday. I am sure that you may have seen that the company has performed very well during last financial year. The bottom line has improved. The loan book has improved by 15%. The profit has increased by 35%. The disbursement has gone up as high as 135%. The sanctions has gone around 235% more than the previous financial year. Net worth has increased. We had been successfully able to reduce our cost of fund from 7.46 to 7.1. So the, at least 36 basis point reduction for the borrowing we had done during last financial year. We have been able to penetrate across the sector, across the states. Uh, so the segment is not a problem for a company like Hatko, which is working for the vision of the government of Vixit Park. We had been funding starting from the roads, hospitals, ports, airports, metro, Amrit cities, affordable housing, power, energy, water, waste management. Our pipeline is very robust and uh, we had kept our internal target to raise our loan book within two financial years up to FY26 to the extent of 1.5 lakh crores from 92,000 crores last financial year. And I can take these targets as very pessimistic kind of targets. These are achievable targets and backed by our Action plans and our teams had made the action plan to achieve these kind of figures. So there is no, no doubt. We had made a long term plan also for the company that our loan book will be around 3 lakh crores by 2030. The work has already been started to achieve and to make the roadmap for that. <coughs> Basically, we are working towards how to enhance the bottom line of the company. We have been able to generate and enhance our bottom line by 35%. So now our profit stands more than 2100 crores from last year around 1700 crores, which has given good impetus to enhance the net worth of the company. At the same time, we are taking out care of the stakeholders also, the investors. We had raised our dividend from 38.5% to 41.5%. We are trying to make balance, not in terms of the business, uh, the bottom line or the returns to the investor. At the same time, we are having a very robust kind of pipeline to supplement the efforts of the government of India. We as HUTCO work from 21 regional offices which are well equipped uh, by, by the very senior manpowers and equipped, managed by very senior officers of the HATCO. They take care of the business pipeline. They actually work as an ambassador to the HATCO business and their respective states. Uh, I am happy to share that our asset quality is continuously increasing and now it is one of the best in the industry. Our net NPA is <coughs> around point. <coughs> 0.35% which has came down from 0.5%. From Our gross NPA has came down from 3.4% to 2.7%. So we are not only working to resolve the deficits, <coughs> we are also working towards the fact that there should not be any new NPA created in the company. And from last 6-7 quarters, there is no new NPA. We are taking care of the stage 2 accounts also, uh, that there should not be any delay or any default. And by successful monitoring of the accounts, uh, we have been able to reduce our stage two uh, drastically from 5,000 crores to 4,000 crores. So we are getting our money returns and time. Uh, we have been able to generate good profits. Uh, our spreads are increasing. Our net interest margin is increasing. Last financial year, we have started the external commercial borrowing also. From Japan, we had uh, landed, uh, borrowed 100 million. Actually, initially the plan was to borrow 
100 million since we are going for the first time. So we were there to test the waters, but uh, the market has given good recognition for a company like Hutco, which is basically working in the social sector. And uh, market has contributed 200 billion, uh, 200 million. So whatever our targets are for 100 million, it has got doubled, and we had got 200 million at very very cheap pricing. Uh, very cheap pricing if you compare with our peer organization, which has gone recently to the Greece market. So. I think we had worked, our teams had worked very, very hard to come up to this number. And uh, for future also, our targets are very clear, our action plans are very clear. Uh, now, we are an ERP based company, so we are going towards the paperless working. We have an e-offices in this thing. And we are continuously working towards reduction of the time in sanctions in disbursement, in documentation, in getting the business, which is giving a very good competitive edge as a company amongst the peers. So I think a lot of things we are doing internally uh, to reduce the cost of fund and the governance within the company, the compliance within the company in line with the RDA requirement, and then the risk mitigation measures. We have success successfully been controlling our asset liability management the investment of high quality liquid assets, the provisioning. So because of that, all these measures, we had been able to improve our bottom line to this extent. For next financial years, financial year, our plans are very concrete, very robust. We are targeting disbursement in the range of 30 to 35,000 crores. For that, uh, I think uh, this is a very pessimistic number to achieve and we will be achieving and we are making all out efforts that most of our disbursement should come in quarter one and quarter two to generate the income during this financial year. Uh, and uh, Government of India has recently conferred with Navratna status to the HATCO. So I am very thankful to the Government of India for recognizing the strategic efforts of the HATCO. And uh, I will also like to thank the media friends that they had been consistent, consistently supporting the efforts of the HATCO and giving the good praise amongst the public that whatever works we are doing and which is giving good impetus to the management and the employees in terms of the visibility to work further. Thank you.